Sutton. By Alex. Shane. And Connor! Did you know... The sun is the closest star to the Earth? Connor, I've heard about sunspots. Now I'm curious. What are sunspots? Well, uh, sunspots are cooler spots on the photosphere caused by the magnetic field. I wonder if we can see them. I guess not. Did you know? At the sun's core, it's 14 million degrees Celsius. Or 22.5. So Connor, I'm curious, how old is the sun? Well Shane, it looks to be about four and a half billion years old. <laughs> really? Shane, how big is the sun? Reiki, are you oblivious? The sun is huge! Even though it may look small in the sky, that's because it's 93 million miles away from Earth. When actually, it's 1.4 million kilometers across. Gee, I wonder how the sun affects the environment. Connor, what did you say? I said, I wonder how the sun affects the environment. The sun affects this environment in a huge way. All these trees that are around us, you don't think they just pop out of the ground randomly, do you? Nope. <laughs> the sun provides strength, so they can use it to grow up big and strong. Holy bejesus! As Radke was saying before, the sun not only provides strength for the trees living around us, but without the sun, the goldfish in this pond could not be living. Physical properties of the sun. Did you know approximately one million Earths can fit inside the sun? There are dark blotches on the sun's surface called sunspots. These are cooler areas of the sun. Here are some chemical facts about the sun. The center of the sun is made of helium! The, s the sun loses about 4 million tons every second. This is the amount of hydrogen gas that the sun turns into energy. All substances made by the sun are invisible. Wow! Did you know? It takes the sun about 27.4 Earth days to spin completely in one rotation. The most layer of the sun is the corona. Only visible during eclipses, it is a low density cloud of plasma with higher transparency than the inner layers. The white corona is a million times less bright than the inner layers of the sun, but is many times larger. The chromosphere. In an eclipse, a circle around the outside of the sun can sometimes be seen. This is the chromosphere. Its coloring is caused by the abundance of hydrogen. next layer is called the photosphere. The photosphere is the zone from which the sunlight we see is emitted. The photosphere is a comparatively thin layer of low pressure gases surrounding the envelope. It is only a few hundred kilometers thick with a very high temperature. The next layer is the solar envelope. Its temperature is 4 million kelvins or 7 million degrees Fahrenheit. The solar envelope puts pressure on the core and maintains the core's temperature. The innermost layer of the sun is the core, with a very high density, and a lot of lead is in this core too. However, the core's temperature of 15 million degrees Kelvin, or 20, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, keeps it in a gaseous state. So Shane, how was the sun formed? Well Connor, less than 5 billion years ago, in a part of our galaxy called the Milky Way, a small cloud of gas and dust started compressing together. After many years of compressing, a star was formed we know as our sun. Really? All truth. Well then. So Connor, now that we've learned about the sun's past, can you enlighten me with the sun's future? I'd love to, Shane. 
Eventually, in about 5 billion years, the hydrogen is going to run out. This will squeeze the helium and speed up burning. It will turn into a red giant and eventually eat all the inner planets. This means us, too. Wait, are you trying to tell me that that big ball of fire up there in the sky that's been giving me life on Earth for 14 years is eventually going to kill me? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, that tricky sun. Ha ha ha! I'm a gun! Son! I'm a gun! <laughs>